Sometimes when I play music, somebody comes up after me and hands me a picture they made of me, and I'm, I'm a goddess worshiper. And other times, but people have been making pictures of me for a long time. Like this picture was from probably 1978 or nine. And it's an Eric Fischel uh, design for, I guess a 45 cover called Stuck in the Dorm. Uh, what does that say? The Paul McMahon Band. Yeah. This is a picture Nancy Chun made of me. She did a series of me as a pink angel. Anatomically incomplete. <clears throat> this is a photograph taken by Dorit Sippies in color, changed to black and white, was the marquee uh, image for the Song of the Statues um, performance that I did, which attracted the attention of the gay community in Boston. And when I came off the stage, I was handed a card for Paul McMahon from The Mirror. Interesting. This is a portrait by Jude Schwendenwein, who also organized some very interesting art shows and wrote some, some uh, favorable reviews of my work. Um, I don't know where he is these days. I haven't been in touch with him in a long time. This is from about, uh, about around 1982 or three, I think, since I'm playing an acoustic guitar. It's gotta be, it's gotta be 88 for me to be playing an acoustic guitar. 88 or later. This is uh, by local Woodstock artist, Will, known as Will Thorn Eater. Um, my good friend Rachel Marco Havens waylaid me on the street, said, hey, gotta come back. Uh, Will is doing portraits of people. Just come on. He did that portrait in, in, I don't know, under five minutes, I'd say. And he didn't even demand payment for it, but Rachel made, twisted my arm and made me give him five or ten dollars or something. This is by Alex Gray. And um, I performed with, with uh, Linda Montana, who performs as me at uh, Alex's art church. And he made the drawing there. That would have been in, I don't know, 2015 or something. There's a picture of me by Max Parker, who was the drummer in Army of Love. Here is Linda Montano, Linda Mary Montano. Uh, disguised as me, or dressed as me, performing as me. Lip syncing at the mothership in 2007. She still does that piece. This is a portrait of me by Bobby G, Robert Goldman. I've always known him as Bobby G, which I think is interesting since it sounds like Baba G. And um, that was a portrait that he did a couple of years ago when he showed here at the Mothership. It was all silver portraits. There is, uh, there's the likeness there. This is a, um, a friend of Judy Whitfield took some pictures of me right after I, in 1991, right after coming back from, uh, from Hopi Land. Maybe it was, yeah, 1991. And, uh, Wayne Waller did a take on it. This is me by my daughter Harmony when she was around 10, 10 or 11. And uh, there's, there's a little bit of ginger in the picture too. <laughs> This is when we were on Cape Cod and we were all drawing pictures of everybody, if I remember correctly. This is another picture of me by Bobby G. Only this one is from uh, Tin, when I played at Tin Pan Alley. My guess would be that would be 80, 1980, 81, 82, sometime around then, I think. I'm playing, it looks like I'm, I'm playing the electric guitar, so. It's before 1980 because at a certain point I started, at, at when I was able to buy a guitar from Tom Yum in 1988, 
I started playing acoustic. So this is me, and I had sung the song The Freedom Man by uh, Jim Morrison. And so he says, The Freedom Man. I think he put my name in there too. This is Gail Two Eagles, my sister, who adopted me in 1999 at a Sundance in Rosebud, South Dakota. Um, this is her, her uh, copy in paint, I think acrylic, of a photograph by Damien Abrams. And she also put the red spots on it. That would be from 1996, I would say. This is also from the 90s, probably 94. Uh, well, it could have been 96. Um, it's Josh Eppard, who is now the drummer for Coheed and Cambria, and at that time was the drummer for Three, which I think uh, Josh was still in high school at this picture. It was taken by his girlfriend, Jennifer Janish. Uh, that's me on the left. We're both in drag, We're both, uh, and we're in front of the girls' room at Andy Lee Field. And uh, Jen was using a flash bulb and got some really interesting results, I think. This is um, the, the painting that Peggy Preheim did for my adult child um, release in 1989. It's quite small, uh, about four inches square. I love Peggy Preheim's work. And I just, I can't say enough about what a, a wonderful person she is. Really, a really wonderful person. This is um, me by uh, JC. I know him as James Love Cornwell. Uh, <laughs> he has other names. And... Um, he gave that to me. It's it's a combination of a picture of me, and um, it's an overlap overlay a picture of me and the floor of uh, Jackson Pollock's studio. This is a picture that Barbara S made of me when we were in daily life together. This is a picture of me running through the streets of Woodstock as King of the Universe, photographed by Lisa Phillips, who has a, a business, a uh, small business, making uh, Woodstock tourist items, but really based on the real Woodstock. This is Paul McMahon by Bart Thrall from approximately 1988 or nine. Um, well, it's my favorite portrait of me so far. I mean, it's just extraordinary, I think. Bart is a wonderful painter, and uh, I've had three or four shows of his here, and I'm gonna have another one as soon as I can. Whoops, well, that wouldn't hurt anyway. This is a picture of me done at a, at a performance by Dahlia Nichols. Dahlia is the mother of Julia Nichols, and she knew the Grateful Dead before they were famous. And uh, a, a very wonderful sort of magical artist of, you know, of Woodstock. This is a picture of me that merges me with a sculpture that I had that was in the show at Haradna Romley in 1993 or two, late two or early three, and it's by Stuart Herodner, who was a partner in the gallery. I don't know who did this picture. It's of me at home, and uh, it says something like, uh, what does it say? Oh wait, maybe you can read that. 
looks like um, Pauly. Pauly. Oh, 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 it's Paul Grassy made this. Yes. Uh, P M C M Life at Home. Yeah. 1997. A very interesting kid, local uh, guy. Um, he was very close with my friend Clayton Denwood. He was kind of like Clayton Denwood's Friday, Man Friday. This is a picture of me by Chimmy, Chimmy Lama or Chimmy Choden, um, my good friend, and um, just became ma a mommy, and uh, we play music together. We've done gigs together, and her dad is a reincarnated Lama who passed away on April Fool's Day, I think it was 2020? Or was it 2021? I think it was maybe 2021. Passed away on April Fool's Day and was cremated on 420, which was also the day that the Pictures Generation show opened in 2009. This is a picture of me of, of a dream that a girl named Hillary Carr had and gave me this drawing where in the dream, my friend Clayton has gone off out of town somewhere, and she comes upon me asleep, disguised as a lion. Hi, babe. And parental duties um, attended to. I don't know who did this picture here, but they're saying uh, that is my portrait of Paul. Looks like Jeff. Wendy as performer. And George, no beard, so that means Neil and da da da, -da under what? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. This that could be like 1986. Possibly have something to do with the party club. Just thinking, who's Jack and? Shalanu? Well, anyway. This also, I don't know who did this, but it looks like it's from Woodstock time, because I have a beard, and King of the Universe is something that pretty much dates, I think, to 93. So, but it happens to be on Jim Henson Productions stationery, which I guess was around. I had a little stack of it, I think. <laughs> Not that I ever <laughs> used it in that way. This is another one I don't know who did this picture either. Uh, but it's a really, I like the picture. And this, somebody did this picture of me shit, at Artist Space. So it's 76 or seven two two eight two nine eight seven. That's my home number. So yeah, 124 Thompson, 1977 or seven, 1977. This is a portrait that's kind of hard to see by Helene Weiner. Uh, we, we only, there you go. It's me as a mailman and I have with a positive attitude that she made in 2018 when she gave me permission to do a big show at a space that she had just bought in Brooklyn at 7 Herkimer Place. Now we come to Headshot by Robert Maplethorpe, the cover photo for EOS, record of How I Love Your Painting, produced by Barbara Jacobson, and uh, the music was produced by Roma Barron, and Barbara had a very good relationship with Robert Maplethorpe and many, many, he took many portraits uh, related to her work. I am a worshiper of the goddess and that picture was done and, and uh, that has a long story that I've told before. This is a Jim Welling portrait of me from 19, oh look there's a squirrel on the porch. 
Huh? Looking for a peanut. What did he get there? Oh, he got a nice piece of uh, pizza. Good for you. I uh, had a birthday party yesterday. And uh, so I was fixing a door in 1972, probably, yeah. Fixing the screen door. And he just sat on the kitchen and photographed me through the screen door in all different positions and details and so on. Because I had a rather nice brown uh, suede jacket. And the color was good, so he, he did this. That was it. Slides. Okay. I don't know who did these ones. I can't remember. Dooby doo. That's good, right? That one and this one where I look like a a, a bureaucrat from the 1800s. And this is uh, by Matt Mulliken. And it is part of his enormous wall of uh, cosmology on a wall. And uh, it's, he, he just included a picture of a human um, of a kind of photographic representation of a human as the last in a series of, of, re of representations of a human and of a person. And so it, it has that function in, in his uh, cosmology, where, where it, and it just coincidentally happens to be me. This is by Sarah Razor, which she, I uh, think, she brought with her. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. I will tell the story of, the, of this, because I was, in 1994, um, a German psychic considered, recognized me as a channel when I was doing my rock and roll therapy act and paid for me to fly over to Hamburg to speak and present things and do the rock and roll therapist at a psychic convention that he was doing in 1994, which is pretty early for Germany, I would think. In the course of that, I found myself isolated with no one to talk to and I was feeling very depressed. So, but I found my friend Matt Mulliken's uh, name in a pamphlet of what's going on around town, and I got myself to the show. It was a beautiful show. It was on three floors of the ICA in Hamburg. Big show. He filled the museum with work, and it was broken down into elements at the lowest level, and at the highest level, it was more, uh, it got, I guess it got to people. And... Um, so when I got to the third floor, and I was still in, you know, it was nice to see Matt's work and everything like that, but I was really bummed out that day. So I got to the third floor, and suddenly there's a picture of me. I was like, okay, I feel good now. <laughs> so I think the extent to which the universe will go to make you happy has not yet been reached.